What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. We are just under two weeks away from the launch of Modern Warfare 3. And as all this anticipation grows, as we start to get hyped, I think we have to remember that this is a massive year for Call of Duty. This is a year for Activision, for Call of Duty, and Sledgehammer Games to show us, the community, that they're willing to put the work in. As it seemed over the last few years, there's been less and less focus on making sure that the multiplayer experience in 6v6 is at its best, and instead what they've been doing is focusing on the experience in Warzone. And I'm not here to say that Warzone's bad or that they shouldn't have a Battle Royale, but instead what I'm saying is that the focus has been at improving Warzone at every turn, making Warzone become the cash cow of Call of Duty, instead of focusing on multiplayer where a lot of people still play. What I've felt like ever since Modern Warfare 2019 is that the multiplayer has been the second fiddle to Warzone, to their Battle Royale mode. And yes, I know Warzone released six months into the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2019, but let's get real here. The multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2019 just wasn't very good. And it wasn't very good again in Vanguard. It wasn't very good again in Modern Warfare 2. It was okay in Black Ops Cold War. But it's still not good enough. The focus has clearly been pushed towards Warzone and making sure that they can capitalize on that game mode more than their flagship game. More than what you pay $70 for. It's almost as if they want to put all that time and effort into making Warzone profitable because they know we're just going to spend the $70 every year anyways to play multiplayer. But that priority has to shift this year. You've established Warzone. Everybody knows what Warzone is. People play it, people don't. Okay? What you've got to do is you've got to reestablish the 6v6 multiplayer. You've got to reestablish that you're willing to work with the community when it comes to major fixes and changes to the core mechanics of multiplayer. I can hop on and play Warzone anytime. It's free to play. I can play it on my PC, on my Xbox, on my PS5. I purchased Call of Duty once for one console. It better be good. It better have depth of gameplay. It better have a working UI. It better have something to offer that it has never offered before. But unfortunately, with Call of Duty the last few years, especially the last two years, as more Steam has been growing with the Warzone community, multiplayer has been kind of just hung out to dry. The focus is not there. The drive to make it as good as it can be is not there. Instead, we have to overhaul Warzone. We have to make sure that Warzone is the best it can be. We have to make sure our free-to-play game mode is what's making us money. Instead of... The game that people are spending $70 to $100 on, depending where you live. The priorities are all screwed up. And for Modern Warfare 3 to succeed, and for us to hit a turning point with this franchise, Call of Duty just has to focus on the multiplayer. Yes, you can focus on Warzone, that's fine. But you need to lend as much, if not more, time to multiplayer. You have to allow your multiplayer an opportunity to actually succeed this year because you've been hindering it at every turn for the last several years. And it's time for a massive change. It's time for Call of Duty to take steps forward instead of consistently moving backwards. I don't understand how Activision can't have two active games at once within the Call of Duty universe. They make boatloads of money, but somehow it feels as if the developers are split between making new Warzone stuff and making the next Call of Duty game. They're never really focused on making multiplayer better. I said it in my video a couple days ago, how we just haven't heard anything from the developers of Sledgehammer Games since the beta. What else are you doing? Like, yes, you're working on the game, but, like, communicate what you're doing. It's not that hard to have a little bit of transparency, but they don't want to deliver that. That would take extra effort. And again, we're being shown... Hey, we don't really care. We did what it took to hook you, and now we're going to just let you enjoy the game and we're not going to work on it. But we're going to make improvements to Warzone. We're going to make sure that that mode is thriving and we don't really care about multiplayer. Because that's the message that I'm receiving from Call of Duty right now, is that Warzone's what matters. We have to make sure that we compete in that space. And maybe they're right, because there really isn't competition right now in the first-person shooter space. But when X Defiant releases, maybe it releases in 2024, let's hope for that. And if Titanfall 3 comes out, there can actually be real competition in this space. And unfortunately, 
Call of Duty's negligence of their own modes could make them start to trail behind these other shooters. Call of Duty should be working at building a very strong foundation so that if a competitor comes into the scene, they have the ability to scale up that foundation and make sure that their game beats out everyone else. But as it stands right now, they are ripe for a takeover. They are ripe for an opportunity for someone else to come in and win all of these fans, win this entire community over because we've been neglected for too long. We've been alienated for too long. Heck, we've been gaslit for too long. The amount of times that we've been told by developers that we're overreacting, that we don't know what it takes to develop a game. Guys, it shouldn't be that hard to say that footsteps are broken. Fix it. Allow there to be a dampening perk, which gladly we have in Modern Warfare 3. But we're gaslit for an entire year or two, actually, about having a dead silence perk by both Sledgehammer games and Infinity Ward. It hasn't been good enough. 6v6 multiplayer is what built Call of Duty into what it is today. And by abandoning it, you're abandoning your roots. And I don't think that that's doing anybody any favors when it comes to trying to support this franchise. How do you get people excited about Call of Duty when you say that their flagship game mode, the game mode that everybody was playing when Modern Warfare 2 released in 2009? is kind of dead on arrival. There's no innovation. There's no creativity. There's nothing new that it offers because they're focused so heavily on making Warzone the best it can be. It's just, it's very frustrating. And I get it. You got to go where the money is. Then just make multiplayer free to play. Just make it free to play. Make people pay for a campaign. Maybe you buy like a campaign season pass where every six months you get a new campaign story, but you pay like, $30 a year and you get a new campaign story every year. I don't know. But the current monetization model for Call of Duty is broken considering where their priorities lie, considering where their attention lies. It's very clear where the focus is. They want to make Warzone great. They don't care about making multiplayer great. And we're seeing it with some of the laziness in Modern Warfare 3. And don't get me wrong, I like a lot of what I saw. I think it's great that they're bringing back the classic maps. But that this was the reset game but yet you're also charging $70 for it when it's very clear that this game was built upon the foundation of Modern Warfare 2 where it's not really bringing anything new to the table. It's just rehashing old ideas. Like, I'll be honest here. I wanted a Modern Warfare 2 remastered. That's what I truly wanted for this year. And yeah, Modern Warfare 3 is kind of it, but it's also not. It doesn't have all the same perks, doesn't have all the same weapons, just has the maps. And I would have been pissed if a Modern Warfare 2 remaster came out and it was 70 flipping dollars. That would be unacceptable. It would actually cost more to buy the remastered game than the original game. Even if it included all the DLC maps, which we know from Modern Warfare Remastered, they won't do. As great as Modern Warfare 2 Remastered would be, the idea of spending $70 on it is a non-starter. And the same thing goes again here with Modern Warfare 3. Sure, they're bringing zombies into the fold. But a lot of people are already complaining about that. Sure, they're bringing campaign into the fold. Great, cool, awesome. But the multiplayer experience is where you get the bulk of your value. And unfortunately, I don't see the value yet. I would have seen the value if there was more transparency, if there was a bridge built between the community and the developer, and I could trust that Sledgehammer Games had our best interests in mind. But unfortunately, what I'm seeing is that they don't really care. They're, they're throwing us off to the side. They're saying, ah, you know what? Figure it out. We don't care about you. We don't care. We're not going to tell you what's changing from the beta to when we launch. No, no. We're going to leave you in the dark. We're going to throw in these patch notes to make it seem like we did a bunch of work when in reality, this is what we were working on before the beta even started because we knew these were active issues. I just want transparency, man. And we're not going to get it again. Like, if you want Modern Warfare 3 to be the best it can be, you need to prop up multiplayer. You need to make multiplayer the focus. Let Warzone exist. Let it be part of the Call of Duty community. Let it be part of this franchise. But don't focus solely on that experience. Focus on multiplayer. Like, focus on what made you what you are today. It was not Warzone. Warzone was made possible and made popular because the Call of Duty name was popularized because of multiplayer. Because of 6v6. Go back to your roots, figure out what made your franchise popular. This is why I am fully 
and belief that those right now making decisions over at Activision have no clue what made Call of Duty popular, have no clue about the identity of this franchise. They saw a cash cow and they decided to milk it as much as possible. And what they realized was, hey, when we milk this thing like crazy, it's not like Guitar Hero and Rock Band where people stop buying. People keep buying it. So let's continue to milk it more. Let's water down the product more and more and more and more. Make it less quality every single year. And that's what I'm seeing. And it's very disappointing. I want to be wrong about Modern Warfare 3. I want it to be a fantastic game. I want it to be successful. But as it stands right now, I have zero faith that Sledgehammer Games is going to deliver. They've shown us their hand. Hey, we're going to take care of you during the beta. But now that the beta is over, ah, whatever, who cares? Who cares about being open and honest with our community? No, let's just only prioritize making sure that we're promoting what you can buy in our game instead of what we're doing to make our game better. I'm just getting sick of it. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this video and about this topic. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think that Call of Duty needs to prioritize multiplayer this year? Or do they continue down the same path of just pushing more and more Warzone onto us? Would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.